Welcome back. The redfish are biting. It's time for a very special attempt, a lure made by my buddy Caleb in Virginia. He sent it to me in the mail. And thank you, Costa. Great sunglasses and apparel for fishing and all things outdoors. Enjoy the video. All right, this is going to be for Caleb, my little buddy in Richmond, Virginia. Thank you for sending me a couple of lures. The redfish are biting. We might catch a tarpon, but we're going to try to catch you one, Caleb, right here with your lure. Here we go. I think it's going to happen. That looks like a delicious offering. All right, here we go, Caleb. This is for you, buddy. It's like a, uh, here we go. Here's oh. a good spot. All right, Caleb, this is going to work, man. I know it. We're going to catch one. We're going to catch one. We just got to get in the right spot. There we go, Caleb. Holy cow, buddy. Your lure has just worked. That was a quick hook set. Oh my gosh, you're gonna love this, buddy. Not only did you catch one, but you might have got the biggest one of the day. Man, oh man, what an effort that is from you to make a lure that has caught a fish. We gotta get it in for you. This is a big one. You can hear the drag ripping. Man, I hope that we can get him in. He's coming at me, coming at you. You're about to get a look at him. That's amazing, son. You need to go into the lure making business. Fantastic. My little buddy, Caleb. <clears throat> Richmond, Virginia. Oh, this is a big, big fish, buddy. And Aunt Sadie, thank you for the effort, both of you. Look at him, he's pulling straight down. Look at that rod. Oh, this might be a tarpon. Oh, look at this. You're not going to believe how big of a fish we got on the end of this line. Just going to let him pull me around a little bit. I'm not going to overdo it. Whew. Unbelievable. Man, this is fun. Redfish number 15 or 16, I've lost track. You think that's a big fish or what? Listen to that drag. He just took a lot of line. Man, I can tell you, he's trying to get off, but I think your hook that you got on here is rock solid. You can see we're going backwards now, staying with him. It's a long fight, but it's worth it. It's so fun. Still haven't even gotten a view of him yet because he's been down in the depths. Man, he's trying to pull drag again. Look at this, still pulling drag. Usually the cold water makes them give up the fight a little sooner. Are you enjoying that drag ripping? That is amazing. I'm trying to keep him away from any sort of structure so he can't break us off. Now we're making some ground on him. 
Biggest one of the day on your lure, Caleb. <sighs> it's a standstill now. I'm putting a little on him, but not too much. Oh. Man, if I didn't know better, I would say this could be a shark, the way this thing is pulling. This is one of the best fighting redfish I've caught in forever. Not overdoing it, we just gotta be patient. Let him wear down. Man. We're in 11 feet of water, almost 12 feet of water, so he's down there. But we're getting him up. Gradually getting him up. Gradually getting him up again. Oh yeah, he's starting to fatigue. I mean, they're strong. He's got a lot of fight to him, but we're getting him. Right back to where we started. Oh yeah, you're about to get your first look at him. Look at that, Caleb. It's the biggest redfish I have caught back here. And I've been fishing back here for a couple of years. This is a big, big yeah. redfish. Oh, magic, buddy. Oh. Yeah, he's trying to go behind us. Man, this is going to be interesting to get in the net. center of the canal. Let's get him back up. We're getting close again. Yep, we're getting close. You'll see him again soon. weight on this one. It's part of why he can fight so well. He is heavy. I bet he's probably 30 pounds. Easy. I'm trying to get near some structure. I'm not going to let it happen. Real close to the boat now. There it is. Oh, he's pulling down. Come on. There he is. There's the leader. Look at the size of this fish. This is about a... It's the biggest red fish of my life, Caleb. He's not going to fit in there. some big ones but this one's the biggest. Let's get him back out of here.
faster. Come on. Man, I'm sorry, buddy. We're gonna consider that a catch. That thing, oh, I cannot believe he came off. And I, there he goes, I can see him. He's got your lure in his mouth, but, oh, that was remarkable. That was at least 45 inches. I can't believe it. I'm sorry I lost him for you, but man, what an effort, Caleb. Unbelievable. Made a lure that caught a humongous redfish. I got to get him in the boat. I almost had him with the fish grips, but I didn't get him on his lips. Unbelievable. Well, despite the length of that video and the length of the fight, there's still so much about that experience that I wanted to share with you. It was really just incredible. That was a heck of a redfish. I realized about halfway through the fight that it was even much bigger than I, than I first thought. Really, really big fish. Probably, like I said, 45 inches for sure, and in the 30 to 40 pound range, somewhere in there. Uh, I kind of realized now I should have probably just stuck with the net, maybe stuck his head in there and dragged him along. But the fish grips might have been a blessing that I didn't get those around its lips, because one big move and that fish might have pulled me into that, that cold water. That would have been bad news. You can see the lure right there on its, on its mouth, and it ended up breaking the line at the bottom. I made a mistake and touched the leader. That was a mistake. But... That lure will come out no problem. It'll either rust out or the fish will shake it eventually and it'll be fine. I really look forward to doing it again. I hope Caleb will send me another lure, but what a great effort and what a great lure you made. Thanks a lot and thanks a lot to all of you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be making more soon. Take care.